I'm currently sat in the uh, living room and that will eventually be the dining room but it's all really one long room um, but as I'm sat in the living room and that's the only one that I've really finished designing <laughs> let's have a look shall we and I'll talk you through what we're planning to do we bought a house So I've got all my little samples. Um, the number one thing I always say when I talk to clients is get samples. Get samples of everything. Everything you can, you need to get samples. You need to see them in the light, in the room that you're actually designing. It's so, so, so important. So I have all my little samples here. Um, some things might be subject to change, um, but this is the, the general vibe that we're going for. So um, there are a few inspiration images that I have used. Everybody uses inspiration images. Pinterest is amazing for that. If you don't have Pinterest, please go and get it. Um, it's absolutely amazing for collating all of your images in, all, in one place um, and just using it as a reference point every single time you want to go back. Um, lots, of, lots of black throughout the house. Lots of neutral colours. Um, anyone that knows me, anyone that's been following for a long time knows that I'm not a fan of grey. Um, this house was predominantly grey. <laughs> there were grey walls and grey skirting, grey carpets, grey kitchen, nearly everything's grey. Um, so a lot of that has been removed um, and a lot of that's going to be altered to make, just to warm it up a bit. Um, so everything's going to be uh, taupey and off-white, that sort of thing. Um, very neutral in the living room anyway. So yeah, let's get, I'll put my tea down, take one last sip. And we'll get started, shall we? So, we're gonna have an L-shaped sofa, and it's gonna be in this beautiful, I don't know if you can see that, but this beautiful chocolatey velvet color that I'm absolutely obsessed with. Um, so that will be really, really nice. So we're getting the L-shape made in one of those. Now, the reason why we're choosing to make the sofa, get the sofa made, um, is that I, every house we've been in so far, we've always rented, and we've always purchased second-hand furniture for that space. When we moved from our home in London, um, during the pandemic, back to my parents' house, um, I want, we sold everything. So everything went to um, various places, people bought things secondhand, um, and we don't have any furniture whatsoever. So we are starting from fresh. So I wanted to really buy a piece that will last us. Um, it will be almost a forever piece for us. Something that we can get reupholstered if we need to. So we're going for a really high quality frame and then reupholstered it. This, um, this is 100% cotton. Um, so again, one of the things that I'm doing in the house is I'm wanting to keep all of the fabrics as natural as possible. Um, so 100% cotton, uh, linen blends, uh, linen cotton blends, wool, that sort of thing. So I want to keep everything that we purchase new to be as sustainable as possible. Um, and that is using materials that are mostly um, natural. So this one is 100% cotton, which is really lovely. Got a mix of cushion options. So this is the sort of thing that I'm going for for the cushions. Um, again, you can see textured, neutral, uh, really lovely fabrics. So this one, we start with this one. This one again is 100% cotton. It's a velvet, it's like a moleskin, taupey kind of color. Um, the camera's not doing any justice. It looks really dull in that, but it's not. It's lovely. Lovely warm velvet, so that's one cushion. This one is like a wool weave. Uh, it's a mix of wool and cotton. It's a really nice houndstooth. It's, so that's this one and that'll be made. And then there's this one as well. And this one is made from recycled OSHA plastic. It's uh, Osborne and Little and it's part of their ocean collection. 
Um, so this one is, yeah, really amazing fabric actually. It's a really lovely uh, weave. And you can see it's got all those beautiful um, colors in there. Really beautiful texture, really warm. Really excited to use that. Um, this also might be the curtain fabric. I've not quite decided yet. Um, I am arming and ahhing about what to do for our curtains. We are having privacy film put on the uh, bay window, on the windows, um, just so we don't, because the street can be a little bit busy, so just so we don't have people looking in. Um, but it means that we can take down these with the wooden blinds. Um, so I think I'm going to do curtains. So I think I'm going to do it in this. I think that would be really nice against the off-white paint colour. Um, but we shall see, that might not, that might not happen. Don't hold me to it, uh, but we'll see. Uh, speaking of paint color, the paint brand that we are using uh, throughout the whole house um, is Coat Paints. Um, I am obsessed with them, they are amazing. Um, they're the first, um, paint company to be carbon positive, which is absolutely incredible. Uh, the tin that their paints come in is infinitely recyclable. Um, they you source everything and they produce everything in the UK. Uh, the paints are 100% solvent free, which is amazing. Um, they are water-based and they have low VOC. All of their tools and accessories as well come from a certified B Corp company, which again is amazing. If you want to know more about B Corps, I'll put a little link up here. Um, but generally, if you can uh, support B Corp companies, it's the best thing to do. All of their paints are made to order, so there is zero waste in production. I could go on and on and on and on and on. They are amazing and they have the most beautiful array of colours. They're just stunning. Um, so yeah, coat paints for the whole house. I will stop going on. Um, but for the living room, we've decided to use uh, Sunday Soul, which is a really nice, warm, uh, warm, beigey, taupey colour, which I think will be really nice in here. <clears throat> uh, this room, as you can see, gets a lot of natural light. Uh, so I think this will really, really nice, really warm up the space, which would be really, really good. And then all of the woodwork throughout the whole house. So all of the skirting boards, all of the doors, all of the architraves around the doors, everything is going to be painted black throughout the whole house. So we're using this colour, which is called Record Store. And you also, you can also get these um, peel and stick swatches which are so accurate, it is unreal. Um, so they're really easy, don't cause any damage to walls, um, and definitely more sustainable than test pots. So yeah, these are great. Then our sofa is going to sit on a gorgeous rug from Nordic Knots. So this is just a tester a sample, just so that you can, I can, well, so that I can see that the colors work together. So it's really important that when you're designing a space, if I grab these, that you can see that all of the colors work together. Um, and all of your paint samples and everything, make sure everything goes, and it does, which is perfect. So Nordic Knots are a Scandinavian rug company um, and they use wool in all of their rugs. So wool uh, is obviously natural and it has really low off-gassing. Um, if you don't know what off-gassing is, I'll put a little link. I've done a blog post about it, so um, you can have a little read. Um, but basically, everything that you put in your house emits uh, essentially a gas, so it emits things into the air. Um, and yeah, it's bad for you. So you have to just be a little cautious about what you bring into your home um, and what you are breathing in. So if air quality is something of importance to you, read that little blog post and it'll give you some hints and tips for you. This rug is really beautiful. It's a really lovely uh, oatmeal-y kind of weave here. And then you've got the thicker, I don't know if you can see that, you've got the thicker uh, black which I think will be really nice. Um, but I'll show you a picture of what the actual rug looks like because it's not as geometric as this, but I'll show you. Either side of the fireplace, we can have cupboards built in and then shelves above. The TV is going to go on one side because unfortunately, as much as I hate TVs, 
it's we live a modern life and we watch Netflix every once in a while. Um, so <laughs> we need a TV. Uh, Ash watches a lot of sports, so we need definitely need to have a TV in the house. So that will go on the left and then uh, we'll have shelves on the right. So I'll get to style those, which I'm really excited about. So the fireplace, I am going to build the fireplace. No, no, no. <laughs> Sorry, that was very overdramatic. Um, I'm not going to build the fireplace. The fireplace is already there. I'm going to build the mantelpiece and attach it to the fireplace. Um, but I will film everything. I'll do a little how-to as well, so that'll be a separate video. Um, and yeah, like I said, I'll film everything so you can follow along and see what I'm doing and how I do it. But yeah, that's all very exciting. And then to go inside the fireplace, we're going to put a log burner in. So at the moment it's just an open fireplace, but we are going to put a log burner in. Um, it, again, it's something we've always wanted. Um, we've always loved log burners. So yeah, we're going to get one of those put in, which is really exciting. Um, but we're going to have these tiles, um, which it, these are the gorgeous brown with a slight purpley tinge to them. And these tiles are from Burton May and it's part of their uh, Little Green collaboration, which is beautiful. They've brought out a really, really lovely range of tiles in really beautiful colors. So go check those out, because they're lovely. Um, so that will go along the back of the fireplace. And then I really wanted to have a, a stone of some sort um, on the, for the hearth, so on the floor of the fireplace. Um, this is going to be from an off cut. So I went to a stone yard and found this beautiful, beautiful. It's uh, it's called a viola, um, and I'm gonna. They've happened to have. There we go. Happen to have an off cut of it. Um, now, if you don't know, off cuts are essentially um, leftovers from projects. So. Uh, as, as you're probably aware, marble and stone is not the most sustainable thing in the world. Obviously, it's a natural material, it's dug from the earth, and once it's gone, it's gone. Um, however, it is obviously incredibly beautiful, as you can see here. All the, that marbling is absolutely stunning. Um, so, what I like to do for smaller projects like this is to use offcuts. So, offcuts are generally pieces that are left over or they're slabs that have been broken in their either transit process or as they go to cut things to size, usually, generally use bigger slabs for kitchens and bathrooms and things like that. Um, so, I've managed to find an offcut. I was very determined to find an offcut in a really, really nice marble. So, they actually had a slab that uh, broke in during their manufacturing process. So, um, it's broken, it's broken, sorry, in quite a few places. So they can't reuse it for anything. They can't use it for that project. So I get to have it. So this beautiful tile will go on the hearth at the bottom. And then we'll have this gorgeous brown, which I think just works so nicely together. So that will, that will line the back and the sides and this will be at the bottom. Can't wait. I'm very excited for this. In terms of other furniture, I'm still processing that. I need a coffee table, I need ceiling lights, and I need the ceiling lights to obviously go be the same in here and in the dining room because it's basically one big room. Um, so I'm looking for ceiling lights. I want to hopefully find those second hand. Um, I'm searching all of the websites I can think of. Haven't found anything yet, we'll keep you posted. Um, we would like an armchair to go next to the sofa and then a little side table to go in the middle. I would like that to be kind of antique definitely secondhand. So I'm still on the lookout for those pieces, but you get the gist. You get the gist. Um, but yeah, so I hope you enjoyed our little sit down chat. I'm going to be doing the same thing with all of the rooms. Um, so this is the first of a few videos. So I hope I didn't bore you to death. So hit the subscribe button. Can't believe we've just done that. <laughs> follow along. Um, you can also follow along on my Instagram. I pop up daily updates of all things Studio Lawson, all things house. So if you want to go over there and have a look out, that'd be great. And I will see you next time.